I'm here. Yep, and I got some good food for you. I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. It's a little healthier than what you're used to, but I know you're gonna like it. Okay, now that was just uncalled for. Okay, you don't have to talk to me like that. Yeah, well, your cholesterol's getting pretty high. <sighs> Alright, fine. As a great man once said, you should always support the indies. At least until they start making money and sell out like the greedy bastards we all know they are. And for this week, I decided to take a look at an independent short film that had been on my radar for at least a year now. AM 1200. Now, this little bit, bit of indie horror was worth finally checking out. It wasn't perfect, it hardly any indie project really is, but I was on the edge of my seat throughout the entirety of its second half. Now, the story is about a guy who's just defrauded his, off his workplace and has led to a friend committing suicide. He's now on the run, trying to secure the money for himself, when he hears a radio broadcast begging for medical help at a radio station. And after his car breaks down, he's got no choice but to go there, and he ends up stumbling on something that is beyond human comprehension. Now this is an awesome setup for a very to the quick and to the point story, which is the first problem with this short film. The first half is just slow. It takes a while to actually get to him picking up the signal and going to the station. And thanks to that, the first half of the film just feels really drawn out, like scenes are going longer for what they need to be. They do do their job of establishing who this guy is, why he's done what he's done, but it just takes a while for things to actually get suspenseful, and I actually was kind of bored in the first half. But once I got to the second half, oh man, it hooked me in! It is suspenseful and creepy throughout, especially when he finds the guy who sent out the signal, and how he's handcuffed himself to a pole, and from there things just get bizarre and weird, with sound waves forcing down on people, forcing them to do things they don't want to do, mind control, and all sorts of stuff just unfolding before our eyes. And the monster behind this? He is cool. We don't see him in his totality, but we do get a good glimpse of what it is. And yeah, it is something right out of your childhood nightmares. Like, it's that cool. But it does lead into something else I have to say about this film. It's not for casual moviegoers. This is a film that really only has appeal to die-hard horror fans or fans of Lovecraft's work. If you're a casual moviegoer and, and you're just looking for something casual to watch, while this may interest you in the second half, I wouldn't be surprised if you tune out by the first or are just annoyed at how little is explained. There is still stuff that is explained, like we're given clues as to where this thing came from and why things are happening, but it's stuff that's true to the mystery that surrounds the stories by Lovecraft rather than, say, traditional Hollywood storytelling of this guy was killed by a fire and he's back for revenge. When it's all said and done, this is a great piece of indie horror that's done in a short format. If you're a fan of the genre like me, you are going to love this. But if you're a casual moviegoer who's just looking to kill some time, you're better off watching something else unless you're curious to see what it's like, or you want to get an idea of what the works of H.P. Lovecraft are like without reading any of his stories. Either way, either way, it's a solid short film that is worth checking out if you can find a copy. And I do hope that it led to a successful career for the director, whom I hope got to make more cosmic horror like this. Sorry about the delay, but hey, better late than never. Hope you guys liked this review. If you really enjoyed it, then please subscribe to the channel. Up next, I'm going to have a review of the new Jumanji, the next level out. Then after that, reviews for Sonic the Hedgehog and Parasite. And for game reviews this month, I finally know what I'm going to take a look at. I'm going to be checking out the infamous Crying Is Not Enough. I've got all that more coming up, so please stick around.